But if you don't want to be recorded, it's time to leave. <laughs> We're wanted somewhere. <laughs> So good evening. I am Helen Cozart. I'm here because we're going to honor the winners of our poetry contest. This year we had uh, entries from seven different dual credit schools from the Stephenville campus and from the Ranger College campus. And our first winner, come on in, you can have a seat and join us. Have a cookie. Our, our, our first place winner, um, would you go get the book? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Our first place winner getting a $50 Amazon gift card and a book about Edgar Allan Poe, mm. which is really more appropriate for Jackson because he actually mentions Edgar Allan Poe in his poem, which we will see in a few minutes. But um, we're going to do these prizes, and Michaela is going to read her poem for us. So you are up. Can I read from my phone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can read from your phone. Okay. All right. This is called... Only but an hour. Only but an hour, yet years have passed, although only an hour, now old and sour. Work all thy life, thought there to be more time to live, but now these clocks have no time to give. Go to school and more school to go, then to work with more work at home. Only time left for sleep and sleep alone, but the clocks do not sleep, nor do they slow. Only do they creep beyond morning glow. Upon those who have all the time, it's been thrown away for pennies and dimes. Where is our family? That we don't know. It seems they have all been placed in a home. Where are our friends? When can we see? It appears they are all off, they are all off working just like me. Do we have all the time in the world? Or is it time that has us like a clam with its pearl? Once a beautiful girl, she has now begun to rust, working and toiling until she is dust. Years have passed, yet it's only been an hour. Time is no more than a delicate dying flower. There is always more work, and work shall she do. It's work we really have, but it's time that has you. There it is. Thank you. So, wait, wait, wait. so here's our Poe book about poetry. And here's your gift Poe. card. Yes. I love Poe. Yay. 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 So our second and third place winner is Jackson Curtis from Stephenville. And although it looks like he's in Breckenridge dual credit, but Stephenville's where he lives. So I'm that, gonna read his... That's weird. Can you that's read your, you have yours, Jackson, that you can read? I have access to it. <laughs> he said he didn't want to. Okay. So I was um, gonna do it for him. Could you I can't... could I say before you jump to mine? Uh-huh. That first place was very well written. Mm -hmm. yes. very and that was it was very eloquent. And it's definitely got some if you read like Annabelle Lee by Edgar Allan Poe, it's got some of those vibes. I did. So, yeah, it, it, it's, it's very nice. Y'all two should get to know each other, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you want me to go ahead? Here you are. All right, you want me to go ahead then? Yeah, have at it. All right, so this is called I Shall Remain by Jackson Curtis. It's our second place prize. A week is a lifetime when you're alone. You're never truly alone until you used to be together. For all my knowledge and linguistics, I find not a line of script, manly or divine, that speaks to the depths of my solitude. Uh, why? Why, O oh God, must my heart be consumed in this sorrow of my own creation, of my own craft? Let poor Edgar take from me my heart to the confines of his floorboards of insanity. That I can comprehend. Let Macbeth, through the bard's quill, strike a deal anew with the crones, for to cure this brooding vulture of self-induced heartache. For that my mind can understand. But the heart, the heart speaks of such things, such wonderful and perilous things, such infinite and infinitesimal things that my mind and very being are throwing into great bouts of boggling emotion and feeling unfelt by myself afore. I have ruined it. Retrospect shall forever be my cruelest and only friend. Young Icarus was always my favorite for a reason. He is me or I am he. Too lost in the moment to see the moment, too lost in the possibilities and the reward and the future to see the reason for doing all is slipping away. To see the reason for being, your son is slipping away like the fatal waters that stole him from his father. I may be stretching Icarus a bit, but the line between we two gets lost. Will I recover? Do I want to? Will she want me back? Should she? So many questions, and yet I'll waste away before I find the breath to ask them. I suppose it's fitting to continue, sorry, to continue with my Greek comparison that she is named after the sun where mine is of the water. In an effort to reach her, I sabotaged myself and thus us. 
the heavens revolve, the earth spin ever so, she moves on. But me? Yes. <laughs> well very nice, very nice. Very nice. All right, so here's your second place prize. <laughs> and here's your third place prize. Right, we had a safe winner for two of our categories, Jackson Curtis. So I'm gonna read his second uh, poem, which is called The Flames of Passion. You ready? <laughs> Trust too quick and you'll be burned. Burn too much and you won't feel. Move too fast and you won't light. Give too much and you'll lose all. Yet, allow it time and you shall see that flames shall warm inside of thee. Repel all harm unto death's door and like the sun burn evermore. Wow. Nice and short. Well, yeah. All right. So that really kind of concludes all we had planned for tonight. If anybody else would like to read a poem, we certainly have this time available. Uh, we had uh, two honorable mentions, which included two poems from Jackson and one from a student named Sanjavani Pokrati. So we're going to have those available. Um, we're not going to read those tonight because they're uh, they weren't here. So, <laughs> but yeah, anybody else who'd like to read a poem is more than welcome to. And then have a cookie, all right? Jackson, we will send you this video, all right? You missed out on some good cookies, Jackson. Are you going to mail me a cookie? I'm, no, I'm not gonna mail you a cookie. <laughs> I'm going to email you the video and these will go out in the mail for you tomorrow. All right, cool. All right. <laughs> Crush up a cookie. Congratulations, Jackson. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Congratulations to Michaela. She just went out with the phone call. Yeah, she did. All right, thank you guys. Let me turn this off now and <laughs> leave. Okay. <laughs>